Hey Fit3, welcome back. It's head coach Tina. We're here today for an active recovery workout. So this is the one time we're gonna get a little bit mellow, just kind of get comfortable. Hopefully you got a mat. You might need a kitchen chair, or a sturdy chair here after a bit. No other equipment. Let's just get ready. We're gonna loosen up our muscles. This active recovery, we're gonna start here with a side lunge. First, we're gonna do some balance work, which I definitely need to work on. Then we're gonna move into some static core work, and we're gonna finish with an amazing stretch. So, let's just keep things moving here. Get the blood flowing, a little tongue tied. Get the blood pumping just a little bit, loosen things up. I'm gonna go ahead, bring those arms up, lean into that lunge. Let the music pull you side to side. You guys look fantastic. All right, remember to pull that tummy in. Keep the chest elevated. Take those arms overhead. All right, are you ready to start the, start the, the balance work? Here we go. All right, we're gonna start. First of all, we're gonna start with up on our tiptoes, bring your hands into prayer hands. Just come up on those tiptoes as high as you can. All right? Oh, that's a little harder than what it looks like. Now, <laughs> I told you I need to work on my balance. Okay, breathe into it. Once you get that, then we're just gonna take our eyes, moving our head side to side. If you need to come down off those toes, if you lose your balance, just come right back up there. Right here, hands to heart. So, oh, stand up tall, don't watch me. Find a focal point and exhale. All right, that's harder than what it looked, wasn't it? Just shake that out a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do another move up on our toes, which is called a stiletto squat. All right, so we're gonna take our feet out wide Come up on those heels again, like you're wearing stiletto heels, which I never do. Take those arms out to the side. Stay up on the heels and just squat down. All right. Once you get that motion going, then you can take those hands up overhead and back down. Sitting back into it, stay up on those toes. We're working that balance. Stand up tall and down. Let's do that one more time. And coming up, really reach up there, lengthen. How long can you get? All right, relax, let that come down. Shake it out again. Okay, I'm gonna turn sideways for you. We're gonna do a cross body balance. So we're gonna balance on our right leg our left leg's gonna go back, and our right leg reaches out. Just slowly. Start with a small motion at first, and as you get comfortable, extend further out there. Pull that belly button in towards the spine, keep the chest lifted. You're gonna feel that right leg working. Breathe through that motion. See how long of an extension. Oh, I got a little too far out there. Bringing it back in. Here we go. All right, let's go to that other side. All right, same thing. Just other leg and arm. Come back tall, reaching out. Some days your balance is better than others. And some days, sometimes, your balance is better on one leg or the other. Keep reaching out there. Extend and bring it back in. Tuck those hips back in underneath. We all need active recovery days. The week gets long, but some days you just need some motion to work the lactic acid out and improve that range of motion. That's what we're doing today. Last one right here. Oops, I lost it there at the end. Yeah, you're feeling a little tension in those legs, so shake that out. All right, 
right, we're gonna do another single leg balance move. So we're gonna balance on our right leg again, hands on the hips, and we're just going forward with the toe and back. And once again, your motion may be right here. Start small, and as your balance improves, you can make a bigger range of motion. Keep that core tight and point back. One more on this leg and right, put that down. All right, are you ready for the other side? Here we go. Find your balance. You may need a focal point. Look at something that's not moving. That would not be me. All right. Oops, okay. And if you need to put that toe down and recenter, that's all right there too. Keep that chest elevated. We're not rushing through it. Reach out. When I quit talking, I hold my balance better. Nice. Okay. Shake that out. Now, we're gonna do a tree pose. So go ahead and bring your heel in towards your ankle. If your balance is good, you can bring that up a little higher. But once you get going, we're gonna take that knee and rotate it in and out. You can see me wobbling a little bit. <laughs> fighting it. If you need to take those arms out to the side. And if you're really good with your balance, you can take those arms overhead. Let's see. Whoop. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and switch that to the other side. Bring that leg up. Get your focal point there. I'm going to keep the hands right here this time and bringing that leg in and out. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Just relaxing, enjoying this, this time. Hopefully the house is quiet. Oh, fight it out, okay. I lost that one. All right, if you can hold that just another second, you go for it. All right, here we go. All right, so now we're going to do a version of a warrior. So we're coming back to that right leg, right leg down. We're going to go ahead and keep our hands down, find a focal point, soften that right knee, and lean into that. And just hold where you're comfortable. Okay, it may be helpful to have the hands back towards the toe. Come up out of that. Left leg down and lean into it. I'm working hard to hold my balance, so I'm not going to say much here today on this one. All right, I lost that one, but you guys know what to do. Go ahead and hold that warrior three. Okay, now. I'm ready to go grab a chair from the kitchen. We're getting ready to move on to our static core work. That's some good balance work. You do that once or twice a week, you're gonna do great. Let's come into an elevated plank. This is engaging the core, the glutes, the shoulders. You can do this on a countertop. If you've been doing planks a while, you can go ahead and move down to the floor. But today we're going to use a chair. When you're in a plank, you want to make sure your wrists are directly below your shoulders and that there's a straight line from your shoulders down through your hip to your ankle. Can you hold that for me for 10 more seconds? It's a good time to take a deep breath and exhale. Tighten those glutes. Nice. If you needed to take a break in the middle there, that's fine. All right, we're going to come back. We're going to do a similar move, but this time we're going to do a push-up hold. 
Gonna get some upper body work here. So we're coming back into that position and then just coming down. And we're gonna hold here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step in, shake that out because we're gonna do it again, all right? Keep those elbows in close to the rib cage. Breathe in, here we go, come low. Gotta keep that core tight. Give me three, two, and one. Push up, step in. How's that feel? All those muscles warming up? All right, we're not really gonna have a seat, but have a seat for just a second. Then we're gonna move out to the edge of the chair and we're just gonna hold into a dip. But instead of dipping with our, with our triceps, we're gonna bring that pelvis up and squeeze those quads and just hold that bridge right there, an elevated bridge. All right, let's relax for a second. Let the arms release. And we're gonna hold that one more time. Take the feet out. You can extend your legs and hold up there, or you can keep those knees bent. We don't wanna put pressure on the knees, so. But you really have to squeeze those glutes and engage the core. Pull everything together, static core work here. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, nicely done. We're getting ready. We're gonna move on down to the floor. I'm gonna start, finish up with a little more core work. We're gonna start with some Superman holds. So let's put our hands under our chin and lifting the chest off the floor. And release, exhale, lift up, and down. Let's do one more like that. This is super for the low back. It's a little hard to breathe when you're down here. All right, release that. Let's come on, let's roll on over to our back, flip it over. We're gonna do a banana hold. Am I making you hungry yet? All right, hands down at the sides, lifting the neck and shoulders off the mat and the feet off the mat, just slightly so that your body is the shape of a banana. Now, if you need to put your hands behind your head just to support your neck, that's fine. Release that. Take a breath. Sometimes we hold our breath when we do core work because we're gonna do it again. We're gonna try and hold for 20 seconds. Are you ready? Bring it up there. Pressing your low back into the floor. I shouldn't be able to stick my hand under there. Breathing in. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Relax down there. All right, we're gonna do another glute sque squeeze. This time we're down on the floor. So let's go ahead, bring those heels in towards your bottom. Lift the hips up off the floor. And now, really squeeze through those glutes and engage your quads. Keeping the pelvis lifted high. Squeeze that up high. The longer you hold that, you'll feel those muscles wanting to get lazy on you. So squeeze them up there and release. Bend those knees, bring them in right here. Okay, we are simply going to push our knees up and our hands down. And when you do that, you're gonna feel that whole midsection really engage. So here we go. 
Pushing the knees against the hands and the hands against the knees. And breathing. Okay, push just a little harder for the next five seconds. Release that. We're gonna do that one one more time. That works a lot more of that core than what you realize. Okay, ready? Bring those knees up, hands to the knees, and work hard, come on. It's just 20 seconds, breathing through it. You can do anything for 20 seconds. Couple more, push harder, squeeze it to the finish, and relax. Nicely done, sit up. All right, we're gonna come up, back up to the chair, and we're gonna do a little side plank. So in the side plank, you're gonna take one leg long, you can either stack your legs, or if that's pressure on your knee, I want you to hold this front knee bent over the top. Okay, and we're just holding high. You're gonna really have to engage that lower core, that lower oblique. If you're feeling strong, we'll go ahead and bring that down. But like I said, we don't wanna put pressure on that knee. Got five more seconds on this side. And release. All right, I'm gonna bring the other side down to the floor. And coming up into that side plank. Like I said, you can bring that knee over the top or you can stack them. You decide what works for you. Modify as needed. But as you get stronger, work on doing those more advanced variations. We're gonna come back up to the seat of that chair. Go right here, grab hold tight, and we're just gonna lean back slightly, and we're doing a leg lift hold. If you want, you can start to flutter kick those feet. Pulling that belly button in towards the spine. You can do these on the edge of your couch when you're watching TV. All these core moves here are fantastic right there in your own living room. Oh, come on, let's stay with this one for 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, how that core feeling? Is it on fire? Good news, we're gonna stretch it out now. We've got about 10 minutes worth of stretching. And I just want you to go ahead, come down on the floor, arms overhead, reach out there really long. Point those toes, reach the hands, like somebody's got a hold of your hands and they're pulling on them. Really extend. Breathing in and exhale. Go ahead and close your eyes. This is you time. Working out is not selfish. It's my very important time for your well-being. Inhale and exhale. All right, relax there. We're gonna bend those knees. This is one of my favorite stretches. Hug those knees to the chest. As you relax, pull those knees in a little closer. Fantastic low back stretch. So important to restore that low back flexibility. We do so much sitting and driving. Low back gets tight. Breathe through it. All right, let's rock up. Now we're going to do, actually let's go back to our back. 
forgot my other favorite stretch, right? It's a cross leg, cross one leg over, reach through to the knee, pull that into your chest. Feel really good stretch through that glute. There's a little muscle down in there called the piriformis. So important to stretch that one. Release that and switch to the other side. Reach through. I'm a little tighter on that side than the other. Breathing in and out. Anytime you want to hold a stretch a little bit longer, you go for it. All right, now we're going to sit up, rocking up. Gonna come over to our hands and knees and we're just gonna do a cat stretch so arch your back let every little vertebra open up drop your head down between your arms and relax take that back up pull that belly button in towards the spine inhale and release and exhale. One more time, just like that. Let that back round, belly button in. And exhale. All right, now, if you have low back flexibility issues, you may want to keep with the cat stretch. We're going to move into a cobra, dropping the hips down to the mat. back into the child's pose. Relaxing the head, forehead down on the mat. Reach those fingertips out there. Let the shoulders open up and just breathe through this motion. You've worked so hard this week. You deserve this little recovery day, this stretch. All right. Stay with that for just a few more seconds. All right. Go ahead and come up out of the child's pose. I'm gonna come to the front, sit on your backside, bring the heels together, and leaning forward, we're gonna do a butterfly stretch, opening those inner thighs, and you might feel this in your low back too. If you can lean forward, go ahead and lean into it. You may want to sit up and just push down on those knees a little bit to get a better stretch. You do what works for you today. All right, release that. We're going to crisscross and now we're just gonna take those arms back behind, reclining back on our hands, and open the chest and the shoulder. You can let that head fall back. Breathing through it. This is the one workout I hate to tell you, we're almost done. Hold right there. And release. Now we're going to come forward. We're going to take our hands out in front of us. Relax the shoulders. Drop them down. Push against that wall in front of you. Reaching out there. Use those hands like that wall is pushing against you. Pull those shoulder blades open. Sit up tall. Pull the tummy in, push the wall, switch your hands. You are doing fantastic. I hope you're feeling rejuvenated and refreshed. All right, we're gonna release that. Coming around, take the legs out in front of you, sit up tall, little hamstring and calf stretch. 
leaning forward as far as you comfortably can, resting your hands on your shins, breathing. As that tension starts to release, if you can, lean a little further into the stretch, reaching out towards the toes, and go ahead and pull those toes up. Nicely done. Can you get just a tiny bit lower on that one? Let's hold that one. I think we all need a little bit more hamstring flexibility. These active recovery days are so important to let your muscles, one, to give them a break, but it's during recovery and rest that your muscles actually grow. So, some days that's the best you can do. Let's go ahead and take that active recovery. All right, let's sit up. And here, we're gonna sit up tall, and we're just gonna point and flex the feet. Opening up those shins, feeling that stretch in through the calf. Believe it or not, we need flexibility in our ankles too. Let's go ahead and stand up. We've got one more balance move. I'm gonna do that standing quad stretch. Reaching out, bring the left foot up to the left heel, up towards your backside. Standing tall. Try to keep that knee pointed towards the ground. If you're doing really good, you can bring that arm up overhead. Or, if you need the balance point, hold it out to the side. And I almost made it. All right, shake that out. Bringing the left arm out. Right heel up. Find your focal point. Focus on something that's not moving. Soften that left knee if you need to. All right. You keep holding it. Last little stretch here. Just a nice shoulder stretch. So release that heel. Let's bring one arm across the chest. Hold that right there. Breathe in. And exhale. And last little stretch right here. I hope you feel refreshed and recovered. I am so proud of you. You've been working so hard. I know these workouts are not easy, but I want you to modify when you need to. And when you've got a great day, I want you to push it hard. It's time for a good recovery. Focus on good nutrition throughout the week. I know, you know, doing a 30 minute workout, that's part of it, but you know, we have to make good choices the rest of the week too. And use your supplementation, use those Relive products to get you all the nutrients that you're needing. So let's go get a shake. Let's do a nice calm post-workout selfie and post it, hashtag us. We love to see what you guys are doing. So thanks for joining me today. I'll see you guys soon. What if one box could transform your life. Inside a world of possibilities, with three products backed by science to support your fitness and health goals. And one life-changing program created by fitness and nutrition experts. Fit3 is not a fad diet. It's our comprehensive solution that includes three products. These products contain an array of cutting edge ingredients that help people lose weight, improve performance, and help create and maintain a fit lifestyle for life. Before Fit3, I had no upper body strength. In fact, I couldn't do a single push-up. Now I'm doing three sets of 12 every single day, and I feel so much stronger. Fit3 is incredibly affordable. For the cost of just a sandwich a day, we got workout videos, nutritional advice, daily support, and the Fit3 products. With Fit3, you get results beyond the scale. You may even have to buy smaller clothes. 
You'll have more energy and confidence. You'll feel stronger, happier, and more fit. This is Fit3, a fitness and weight loss program for real people who live in the real world. Fit3 starts with a 90-day journey where you'll create healthier habits with Fit3 products, nutrition, and exercise. Your Fit3 product regimen begins with burn. Just two capsules every morning assist in burning fat all day long when combined with healthy eating and exercise. Next is active. Delicious daily protein shakes that keep you full, fuel workouts, boost energy, and help muscles recover. And finally, Purify, a probiotic liver cleanse and metabolic supporter in one. Just two capsules at night will purify your body while you sleep and keep you in peak performance. Next is nutrition. Our practical and realistic approach will teach you three things. How to eat smart and still enjoy your favorite foods, how to combine the right foods, and how to create healthier habits that last a lifetime. Finally, our Fit3 workouts will keep you moving and having fun while you get results. They are designed for every fitness level so you can progress at your own pace. Each workout is made up of compound movements that work your total body. So what is Fit3? It's a sustainable fitness and weight loss program for real people who live in the real world. People like Chris, Mark, and Amy. So I started taking the shake consistently. The additional protein gave me more strength than I had before. Had to buy new pants throughout the program, and I lost five inches on my waist. I've lost about 30 pounds. I feel great. I sleep better and I am at the weight I was when I was in college. This has changed the trajectory for my second half of my life. I'm gonna be a lot more healthier and active. When you join Fit3, you become part of a world filled with healthier, happier people. A world you'll want to share with someone else. Welcome to the world of Fit3.